Folks, welcome to Streaming Church TV. This is our live video blog. We do this usually every Thursday evening, and we talk about streaming video related material, usually, unless we get off on a wild goose chase. Uh, but, uh, and you may be watching this here live. I hope that you are, and if you are, you're welcome to ask us some questions on the StreamingChurch.tv platform. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, uh, you probably don't have the chat options there, or Roku, or maybe the iPhone, but you can always email us at support at streamingchurch.tv, or if you're watching this at a later time on YouTube or on our video archive, again, just send us an email uh, if you want to have a question about what we've been talking about. Support at streamingchurch.tv. Well, my name is Phil Thompson. I'm the executive uh, uh, director, almost said executive pastor, that, that's a way ways back in my past, but I'm the executive director of Streaming Church TV, and uh, my guest today is Steve Lacey, who is our president and our founder of Streaming Church TV. Steve, how are you? I'm doing good. Great. Thanks for being here with us on this wonderful Thursday evening in Tucson, Arizona, and we're glad that you have joined us. So ask some questions today, though. What I'd like to do is, is since I've got Steve pinned down here, I would like to... Uh, uh, talk to you, Steve, a little bit about some of the new stuff that we're developing uh, with Streaming Church TV. And uh, there's several things coming up, but let's, first of all, and, and I don't want to confuse people here, but we have been talking a, a lot about a church app. So uh, you've got a church app on the horizon that you're already putting together for churches, mm -hmm. but you've also got something else called Servant App, which is something different. And so where do you want to kick off first? So well, uh, let's start in the beginning, I guess. So this thing began with putting, in, putting together an app for Streaming Church. So there's a Streaming Church app in, on Android and in the iOS uh, app store. Okay. And that allows any of the churches that are streaming with Streaming Church to either uh, access the, the live broadcast, and it'll go through and give you the who all is broadcasting live right now. So if you go to the app right now, it would show that we're Streaming Church is broadcasting live, okay. and then it also has the ability to go in and uh, choose your particular church, and it'll show all the on-demand um, listings there, and then you can view the on-demand stuff from from your phone. Okay, so that's the StreamingChurch.tv yeah. app. Right. So that app so was developed several months ago. Right, and that's and that's available on uh, Androids as well as uh, the iPhone. Right, so if you go and you search uh, either the Google Play Store or the App Store uh, okay. Streaming Church. So you probably uh, can't see this very well, but it's there's the app, Streaming Church TV app. Oh, so okay. You can't really see it because the lighting's not good. Sorry, guys, but it's there, trust me. It is there. It's on my iPhone. Yes, so we, we've ventured in the app territory by putting that app together. And then uh, what we've done is started to offer customized applications for the churches. So uh, basically, actually we built one for a live church. So we take some of the things that you traditionally find with a church app where upcoming events, um, you know, the calendar piece, the on-demand video archives, both the MP3 and the, mm -hmm. the streaming stuff, as well as the live streaming um, pieces to it. And then we also took uh, elements that require member login to the app to get to, so things like the prayer board, um, a member directory, uh, there's a tool in there for uh, getting directions to the church, okay. and some other things. Uh, uh, Facebook integration, ties to Twitter, and then can, ties to your website as can, well. Can people, uh, can, can they have a donate online Yes, function? there's a donate online there piece in there too. All I'm right. trying to remember everything yeah, that's There's a lot the, of things, and, and, and this is stuff that you've done, but, but People, if they want to have a church app, they don't. They can have some of that, or all of that, or they even can something have different. right. Or they can say, "I'm not interested in any of that, but what I want is these, you know, things." Okay. All right. So, um, so we can, and it can look. Uh, I mean, the, the some of them that we've done, we've had the churches provide the artwork for it. So they say, "I want it to look like this, and I want it to look like this so much that I'm going to give you the artwork for the mm -hmm. app." Okay. And others, they say, I just want to include, you know, this color scheme and this design, and we'll go through and, you know, put together the app consistent with that, and include the things that that they want to see in the app. Okay. Um, some of the automated features that we have rely on 
the back end database that's behind Streaming Church and MyFlock.com. So, for example, um, access to the prayer board, which is run off our system and requires the, the member login. Uh, we can, you know, if you're using the tool set, you can have access to that. Um, if you want to try to integrate it with someone else's back end, that's a little more challenging. But we can link to create access to anything on the web. Okay, so we could do it if it's somebody else's generation. Uh, if it's, <laughs> if you don't. say, hey, I want to tie into company X's um, calendaring system because mm -hmm. I like their calendars, um, if they have an API that or a programming interface that we can get okay. to, we could do it, but a lot of times it, you know, it's just not quite possible. To, okay. can, if they can vend it on the web and you want to vend that same thing or they have a, a mobile version, we can link okay. it to that. Okay. If, if you have questions for Steve, he's our president and he's our founder of Streaming Church TV and MyFlock.com. Uh, feel free to chat here if you're watching live on the StreamingChurch.tv chat platform. If you have a question about church apps or, or even streaming video in general or something else, uh, we'll, we'll divert for a little bit. And again, you can always email us at support at StreamingChurch.tv if you're watching this on some other platform and if it's, you're watching it years from now or whatever. So kind of like back to the future sometimes doing this when you're archiving these. Okay, okay. so 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 the church apps, uh, we are making those available. Uh, and a big question is probably price. Yes. Uh, and, and so what would it cost? Uh, let's say I'm I'm Pastor Joe and uh, and I I've seen you guys here and go, hey I'd love to have a church app for my church. Uh, what would it cost my church to have an app? So the, the answer will vary, but for the type of application that we're building, and they, they basically fall into three categories. And the top category is an app that integrates with uh, a database and has a member user login to it, and that sort, that sort of thing is the top um, okay. tier of that. And just Googling and, and researching what other people offer, that top tier, I think the numbers start around eight thousand dollars to develop an app like that. Wow, eight thousand bucks. Yes, so it's there. Well, well, that's not what we're going to. No, try, that's not right? what we're doing. Okay. But, okay. Good. but that's kind of the that's the okay. kind of the range, which kind of surprises a lot of people. Um, but if you look at you know, some of the more popular apps that are out there, the games would be the most expensive as well. Um, Something like Angry Birds. I think they invested like a quarter million dollars to no to develop Angry Birds. My wife plays Angry Birds. Yeah, so there's there's quite a, a huh. bit of development effort in de, that's okay. involved with that. Sure. So and then um, and then the less sophisticated apps, the prices obviously come down. So what we're doing is for um, people that aren't existing customers of ours, it's uh, fourteen ninety nine. Okay, one thousand four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Yes, okay. and then for those that are already um, customers of ours, we offer a discount, which is seven ninety-nine. So okay, so if you're a, if you're a customer of Streaming Church TV, or MyFlock.com, which is owned by the same company, our company, JSL Solutions, so it would be seven ninety-nine right. to build you a church app, and and you would customize it. Yes, it would be graphics custom graphics app. and the whole thing. Yeah, functionality, the whole bit. So that's a great deal. Per your instructions. That's a very good deal. It is a very good deal, especially when you consider, um, you know, if you were to go somewhere else and say, hey, I want to hire this company to go develop an app for my church. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there are some other um, companies out there that do kind of cookie cutter things where okay. they have a, a basic generic app that doesn't have any database integration okay. um, that is, you know, even more affordable, but not a whole lot more affordable. So right. they'll be around 500 bucks or so. And, and it, it probably won't do. What yeah, there wouldn't be, it would be a, do. yeah, typically it'd be a one-time build and publish. Okay. Um, so the way ours is set up is it allow you to uh, not only go back to the, the web back end and manage things like calendars and that sort of thing to keep everything current, but um, you also will also support any changes and that sort of thing as long okay. as not major revisions. Right. They say, hey, I want to add, um, we changed our church logo or right. simple things we can, we can sure. go in and update So as well. we can make some modifications. And, and of course, with us, you've always got customer service. Yes. So, I mean, the, it's true. I mean, we, we are the best. <laughs> we I'm, are the best. 
I'm telling you, folks. <laughs> it's our customer service guy. <laughs> well, and, and you know what? And I'm getting on a soapbox here, but I'll get it on it for a moment. I mean, uh, you know, uh, we've all had issues where we're trying to deal with cell phone customer service or our home, our home dish, satellite dish issues or uh, even oh, internet uh, issues. And huh, it's pull your hair out. So we hate that. Everybody does. And so uh, one of the things we're trying to do here at Streaming Church TV and MyFlock.com is provide timely customer service. And, and that's a big thing for us. So, uh, so you would get our customer service. So, Sonia, getting back to the app, I'll get off my soapbox here. Getting back to the app, um, so seven ninety nine if you're a regular customer, if you're an existing customer, and, and, uh, and you'll work on that for people. Okay, awesome. And so it's available on Android and also on the Apple platform. And Apple platform. Yeah, if we yeah, get well, passed by Apple. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been having some challenges with Apple recently with some of the apps. Um, the Streaming Church app went went through their wickets, no problem. Right. But we've had um, okay. some of the churches that wanted certain things that Apple says no, we're not we're not going to do that. Okay. So, All right? But we're working on that. We're going to make it happen. We're going to we are working on that because we've yes. got we've got pull. We've got we've got power. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Apple's nothing. <laughs> nothing to us. <laughs> to huh? us, exactly. Yes. All right. Okay, cool. All and right. So Yeah, just a... Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. I good. love Apple products, but the yeah. the whole Apple side of things is right. uh, Android is so much easier. Yeah. It is. It is. I have to say that much. Okay. So, uh all righty. So you've got uh uh you started with the Streaming Church TV app which anybody can get it and watch anybody's church stream or right. archive, uh, and then you've got the church app that you are developing and, 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 and already have developed. For, yeah, for and that'll be, as I mean, we mentioned earlier, customized, branded, named, you know, right. go in the right. Google Play Store with, you know, all sure. your stuff. So. Yeah, so I mean, if, it, if it's a live church, it's the live church app. If it's uh, uh, Sunnyside Baptist Church, it's the Sunnyside Baptist Church. If it's, yep. Okay, so yeah, so it'll be all right. So, but what's this next thing you were telling me about called Servant App? Is that what you're calling That's it? That's what we're calling it today. Okay. So the the thought process kind of went like this, where we we started developing these apps, mm -hmm. and we were thinking through ways to increase the um, user interaction with the apps within the church, and and so um, I've got four boys that are all big time gamers mm -hmm. and uh, so we, what we wanted what we've done is we've designed an app that's going to be geared for that's called the servant app that's going to have some of the functionality that we have with the church apps and the streaming church app as well but it's going to have a uh, kind of a gaming element to it think of it as a um, kind of a church paced gaming system Hmm. Okay, now now hold on a second here. Let, let's back up here. You're going too fast for my pea brain here. So it's an app that churches can have. It's not the church app, but it's the servant app, and that actually will have games on it, and somehow you're going to tie that into stuff happening in the church. Yes, yes. So um, part of the gaming element would be just, um, well, part of it is just utility for the church. Um, one of them would be, like for example, we do communications card communication cards here at yeah, a lot. Yeah, at our church here, we have we have a connection card. As well, connection card, now, yeah. So it's typically, you know, it's a card that people the, when they walk in the door, it's in the bulletin. Right, they'll fill out their fill info, out, drop it in the offering or whatever. Request or next step, they check out the, right. on the connection card. Right. So the okay. idea here is. Um, the way these apps are set up, and they have the user login, so I can log in once to the app. Okay. Come to church, I pull out my phone with the app, and they say it's time to fill out your communication card, and I just, just pull up right the app, and right well, I actually device. I just hit the mm -hmm. communication card button, which mm -hmm. um, if I if the church hasn't asked for a specific request, mm -hmm. you know, outside of my normal info, it'll just submit it. So it has my, you know. Everybody has a profile through the MyFlock system, so mm -hmm. it's got address and all your okay. profile information, and it just, it'll register that I showed up okay. at church, and it'll okay. register specifically who came to what service, okay. and provide mm -hmm. 
a twofold purpose here. So from the church's perspective, uh, right now we, we don't track at that detail level. We'll go through and have people do an attendance count. And like, right. oh, we had, you know, 500 right. people come to the service. Right. Um, and we may record that level of information, but this will allow the church to get a much more granular look at what's going on. So you could see mm -hmm. that Phil came to church for three weeks, and then he was gone for two weeks, and then he came back. Mm -hmm. And so um, by just through this um, communication card piece of mm -hmm. it, and so I can say, oh, what happened to Phil during those two weeks? I can, you know, fire you an email or whatever. Sure. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. If you just joined us, we're uh, talking with Steve Lacey, founder and president of StreamingChurch.tv and MyFlock.com. I'm Phil Thompson, and uh, we're talking about apps. We're talking about church apps specifically, although we do, obviously, we do this, uh, this live video blog uh, related uh, usually around streaming things. And so if you have questions about church apps or streaming stuff, uh, streaming video, feel free to type in the chat here. Uh, or if you're watching on another platform, you can just send us an email uh, support at streamingchurch.tv. And we, we appreciate everybody joining us here. Uh, okay, so this servant app, different from a church app in the sense that there's some connectivity there, but you mentioned games would yeah, be available. Yeah, so the... the it's really developing a somewhat of a point system for for each person that has the app, and so okay. you would uh, you would get points for showing up at church. Okay. So filling out your communication card. Um, the other idea we've got is we we have a very interactive service with um, people attending, and so mm -hmm. from the admin side of the things, I can set up service questions or word puzzles or that sort of thing that have to do with the message oh, okay. that's being taught. And then so I can okay. go in and pull out the app and may have a half a dozen questions that relate to the teaching that I can go oh. through and, you know, oh. answer, you know, those questions. So it's kind of like a quiz. Yeah, a little bit like a oh, quiz. I don't I guess. know if I like that or not. That means <laughs> I have to pay attention to what the senior pastor is yeah, talking about. Yeah, it could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so and then and then the system would go through and, and score you know for um, for so many okay. answers correctly, and uh, you'll get uh, there's uh, you know, a point system for doing just basically different church activities. Okay. Um, can also integrate in the um, worship lyrics into the app, so the church can go through beforehand and put the um, songs that are going to be playing and make them available through the app as well. Hmm. So people can you know follow along with the lyrics as it as it goes through. So wouldn't even have to put the the words on the screen. You, not for anyone with that that's holding the app. This is where the world's going, folks. Uh, Pretty soon, it's everybody's moving. going to have a mobile device. Yeah, and so it's have moving. to have it in order to survive. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Pretty soon, so, we're going to integrate it right here. Right? No, okay, we won't get it. So there. what okay. we're we're doing is is integrating the things that you do or people that come to church, the things they do at church and basically giving you a, a means to participate through your phone app and we're trying to add this fun element where there's mm -hmm. you get so many points and there's going to be levels and you'll have the ability to go look just like any other game say what's the leaderboard look like and mm -hmm. so that show that fills you know competition i like yeah that. fills a, a level 60 oh, no. whatever player and you know mm -hmm. that sort of thing so that's interesting that's kind of the idea and there's there's, go ahead. Well, I was going to ask you, uh, now you, you, th this servant app is not, you're still in the development process. Yeah, we're still this. in uh, the, the church app is, 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 is available to any church right now, which we talked about earlier, and then the streaming church TV app's always out there. But the servant app, a little different, as you just said, some game elements in there. Uh, are you interested in getting feedback from people oh, yeah. on what, maybe could be added to this survey. Yeah, or, you know, they, they, <laughs> yeah, they look at things and they go, that is really stupid then. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, we would appreciate that feedback. All right, so give us some feedback. If you're interested in something, you know, if you caught this conversation, uh, send us some feedback, support at Streaming Church TV. We're talking about an app, servant app, at least we're calling it that right now. It's not yet fully developed, but it would be something for your church and uh, you would be able to have games on it or have contests on it or connect information on it 
Yeah. Am so I stating that right? Yeah. So there's there's a section dedicated to the the weekend experience okay. that is um, available. There's also a section dedicated to the you know I have the app and I'm at work or I'm at home or mm -hmm. I'm at school or wherever I may be, and I'm um, doing a daily devotion. Okay. And so I can get my daily devotion going from the app ah, cool. or That'd my cool. daily Bible reading. Yeah, so there's a spiritual side to it. Yeah, so there's, obviously. and so, so as I do those sort of things, it's also, you know, it's racking up my, my points as well. Right. Yeah, because we've got to have as many points as possible to get favor <laughs> from God. Oh, wait, we don't. We're saved by grace. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm just teasing you, Steve. Uh, Dave's got a question here, and it's, it's not exactly related to apps, but it does, it does have some, um, it does have some parents. Uh, his question is, how does streaming affect local church membership? Uh, I'm not sure where you're coming from on this, Dave. You might be thinking, you might be from, coming from the angle uh, that if people stream, uh, if churches stream, everybody at local is going to stay home and watch the stream. Uh, is that the angle you're coming from? But, but let's just try to answer the question without reading into it, shall we? Uh, how does streaming affect local church membership? You want to answer that? I'm not. Sh I'm with you. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm not sure. I completely understand. Oh, he said. Oh, exactly. he clarified it. Sorry. Other uh, than the two, are there other available for tech support? Um, no, you didn't clarify it. Mm -hmm. Are other what available for tech support? We are uh, available. For yeah, everything. we're and available for everything. Right. 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 There, there are others, but from tech support, it's just going to. It's primarily you and I. So. Well, between us, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but we've got, there's Eric, there's Wayne. Yeah, that's true. That yeah, is true. We have, uh, and we have our reinforcements as well. We do, so. Yeah, but yeah. the but chances are if you're calling tech support, they're going to. Get you or me. Yeah, they're going to get yeah. you or me. But, yeah, yeah there are other resources. Well, we have other resources. Okay, get, getting back to your question, Dave, if, if I can get it here. Uh, church, how does, it, how does streaming affect church, local church membership? One of the ways that I can answer from experience here is that when we first started to stream at our local church, we didn't know what to expect and we just started streaming and, and I think we even started running Google ads all over the world. And we had people all over the world. But we also noticed that people were showing up that had actually watched us online a few times and they liked what they heard and saw and they ended up showing up. And, and actually many of them becoming members. And so what we've done over the and last couple of years- many of them leading ministries here as well. Leading I, ministries I, now. Yeah. So That's there's wild. it's yeah, if you were to talk to the church leadership here, they would say that was the number one thing that's led to the church growth here. Is basically what we've done, you know, some people think, oh, people just won't come to church. They'll just stay home in their pajamas and yeah. the church building will be empty because everybody's what I watching would do. from home. I would do that. But <laughs> I'm not normal. But the the inverse is Basically, what it does is it provides an opportunity for um, people to come to church without having to go through the the awkwardness of actually showing up at for church for the first time somewhere. Yeah, so they can go and they can. Expect. Yeah, they can go. It's a low barrier to entry. They can say, yeah, they can go check out church without ever walking through the church, and spend some time evaluating the church before they show up, and then nine times out of ten they'll say they'll show up a few weeks later and we get that common response of oh this is your first week and they go well actually I've been coming for you know a month here online and I know you you and you um, from the service so it's it's been uh, it's been a great thing for us we, we have found that, that that we've we did not know what to expect when we first started streaming four years ago or longer uh, but we have that has certainly varied out to be true we have people that watch if they like us they watch a few times and they end up showing up. And the nice thing about it is they already know what to expect, just like you said. And so it's, it's usually not a big shock when people show up here in the facility for the first time because they've, 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 they've heard and watched the, the band play. You know, they've seen the different pastors on the platform here. Uh, and, they learn yeah, about the ministries. And, and another effect along those lines is uh, everyone that is coming knows we're broadcasting. And so they go home and tell their friends or neighbors, hey, I went to a live church, and you can check it out too right. by going to this URL. And it just, it's just such an easy way for people to participate and you know, kind of dip their toe in the, right. in the church world without uh, having to mm -hmm. dive, dive into the deep end. 
I, I, my feelings are this, I, I, don't, I think most people are craving relationship, and if they can see a place that seems to be a safe environment, and people seem friendly online, you know, we have lots of chat going online, we have people that greet people online, Don Young's a great host, uh, I'm online, you are online at times, different guys are online here and girls. If, if, if they sense a friendly environment, and they're local, they will show up and uh, and yeah, they could they could sit around and watch online and sit back and watch in their pajamas and, and many people do that at times, but most people are craving a little more than in their life. They really are craving relationship. And so they show up here and uh, and then we chase them off once they get to know us. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I'm sure we do at times, but you know, they show up and, and they connect. And what you said is true, we've got people uh, that are involved in leadership now yeah. in different ministries I'm just, and it started with, with, with watching a, us online. A good percentage of the web ministry, um, the people that serve here, the guys running like the web soundboard and Don Young you mentioned, mm -hmm. right. all came from watching right. online initially and now they're right. serving in the, yeah. in the web ministry. So anyway, that was a tangent. Yeah, and I know there's, there's other people, we had Michael on here a little earlier, from a, a local church here in town. He's gone here. Web Pastor Michael was with us for a few minutes. Uh, we chased him off, I guess. But he's, he actually <laughs> is a web pastor of a church, Book of Life, which is here in Tucson. Their pastor is actually a Messianic Jewish pastor, and he oversees, Michael oversees that. He's gone now. He's not on here anymore. At least I don't see him here unless he's watching on another platform. But, uh, and he can tell you the same thing. They, there's, so really, if you do it, you know what? It's, it's like anything. If you do it the best you can, if you do it well, and you know you're going to get people uh, that are going to watch, right. and they're going to end up showing up if they're local. And and again, not, people watch this. We have people watching. I know for a fact we have people watching overseas, in England. We have people even in in China. China keeps popping up on the radar. I don't know who it is, but somebody over there is watching us. May even be a home group or something. Um, and there's Middle Eastern people. So, you know, it's, it's out there. It's a great outreach tool, uh, but it's also a great way to connect people in your community to your church. So, anyhow, I hope that helps. And, and, um, All right. So, um, back to the servant app before yes, we before depart we from Almost that. out of so, time. Here. Yeah, so the idea is from the member standpoint, they've got this app that's, you know, got some tools with it and that connect with the church. And then from the church's side, um, they're able to actually have a bunch of data that they didn't have available prior. So um, they can go through, as I mentioned, the attendance piece. They can get very very right. detailed data. Actually, from the admin side, they can see um, what's going on within the app with each of the users as well. So they can see, oh, Joe's reading his Bible every day. So if you're a leader, a spiritual leader, this is definitely something that uh, interests you. Especially right. that part. If of you're it. right, yeah. So you would. It's a two-way mm -hmm. piece. We're trying to set it up so that uh, you know the members can get something out of it, get a little fun and mm -hmm. useful utility out of it, mm -hmm. and then also provide some uh, a measurement to the leadership on how the flock is doing spiritually. Okay. So, you know, the, the the stuff that they're doing on the app is all spiritually related stuff things, sure. and so. On the back end, you as leadership would see, um, you know, what what kind of impact you're having on on your congregation. Right. Yeah, that, that's so. very important. You you always want to make sure that what you're doing, you're making an impact on people's lives. That you're making a positive impact. So that's cool. All right, Steve. Well, we're just about out of time here, and sure appreciate you coming over here and spending a little bit of time with me today, and explaining some of these uh, church app stuff we've got available. So. Uh, folks, if you're interested, if you have other questions, uh, email us and uh, we'll talk to you about it. Support at streamingchurch.tv. And uh, we'll certainly uh, try to answer your questions regarding church apps, the servant app that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to hear your feedback, yeah, too. We're, yeah, we're hoping to make this thing available this fall sometime. Wow, so. that's quick. That's yeah. pretty quick. So give us your feedback on some ideas on how the servant app might be beneficial to your church or maybe something you'd like to see on it, maybe some games or something on it. That would be good. So, 
All right, sounds good. Well, I think that wraps things up for today. All right. Thank you, Steve. Uh, well, I'm uh, Phil Thompson, and uh, on behalf of Steve Lacey here and the whole crew at Streaming Church TV, thank you so much for spending some time with us, and uh, we'll catch you next Thursday evening. Yeah, we'll stay on the chat here in case anybody has we'll, any questions. We'll, we'll hang around the chat here even after we stop the stream. We'll still be hanging around here for a little bit on chat. So you have yourself a great evening, and we will catch you next time. Happy streaming. <laughs>